I got a new camera yesterday. I got the A7 IV and I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't used it yet, I just set it up last night. One of my favourite parts of this is the flip screen and I'm really looking forward to using this for self-portraits because I think that's going to make it a lot easier. So you saw in my last video that we did an art evening, this wasn't the product of that. Painting that I did on that night just wasn't good so I didn't didn't show it but I have never used oil before and I took the green project took this section of my body because I thought found it the most interesting and I really like painting I used to really like painting bodies but I just did quick study of the green project I just absolutely fell in love with oil painting I've been really wanting to branch out of the digital art world and create some tangible art because I've always been used to you know creating props and stuff for my images but when it comes to actually piecing art together. I've always done it in Photoshop and which I still love, but I just want to be able to feel it in front of me and I feel like that's just what I've needed. If you didn't see last video, I was doing some testing and these two ended up being my favourites. I've had them pinned up over there on my cabinet for, well, since that last video and it just feels like these colours were just what I wanted. Today I am revisiting the green project. Since I finished the green project, I've been working on the yellow project, which features this outfit. I've been conceptualizing, I've been going over some ideas, I've just been writing things down, I've been, you know, just letting my brain do its job and coming up with an idea. However, seen, since the green project finished, I've just had this other idea in my brain. Um, and the other week when I was practicing painting and oils, I was doodling in my sketchbook and just playing around with some different textures, different mediums and I did these little flowers here and then I had this vision that I wanted to get a piece of glass with little flowers all over and then me behind the glass. I wanted to use the frame again so I'm going to remove all these candles because I used it as a candle tray. Photoshop the piece of glass in the middle and then me behind it and I kind of wanted it to be like, on the green room image, you've got the frame in the background and it's obviously painted over. I did that on purpose because I just wanted it to blend in with everything. And also to make it feel like it was like, there was like a block there. So I kind of want to open that frame up now. That's my idea. But I just feel like there's another world behind that frame. That's just what, what my mind's been going to at the moment. Today, I'm going to make the glass. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Happy New Year! Hope you're all doing well. January 2022. It's freezing here. <laughs> I've just had to come in and like blast the heater in here because it's just so cold. This year I am feeling really good about everything. If you've watched my other videos, um, you'll know that I'm taking a more slow approach to creating because I think that I was rushing all the time. I was doing things so quick all the time and I felt like I just wasn't like taking it in and enjoying the process and um, so that's why I did the green project because it was like over about a six week eight week like time span 
of me creating and building and conceptualizing this image and honestly it is like one of my favorite images that I've ever created and one of the cr best projects I've ever done for myself and I learned a lot from it. I've changed a lot in the past two years. My channel has changed in the past six, seven years. I mean, when I started doing this, I was doing like videos here, there and everywhere. And, and I just feel like now I'm at a stage in my creative life and art career and personal life that I feel the most me. And it feels amazing. And it's probably down to the fact that I've got this space now and that I can just come in here, do my thing, no worries, no like pressures, just go with the flow and then I can just shut the door and leave it behind and go into real life again. And I feel like that's kind of how I'm seeing this studio. Obviously it bleeds into my real life, but what I'm saying is it just makes me feel like when things are getting tough, I can come in here and like get it out in here. Uh, and it just feels like a bit of a sanctuary for my creativity and I'm loving it. And obviously these past two years have had a lot of time to think about what I wanna do and where I wanna take my work. And it's been quite a nice journey of like self-reflection, understanding what I actually need rather than what I think I want. It's just been amazing. I've just had like, I feel like I've had like the massive breakthrough that I needed and my anxiety less. Don't get me wrong, I still have quite a few days of anxiety and low moments, but generally I'm quite consistently positive, which is something that I haven't experienced for about 10 years. So yeah, back to the reason why I am picking up my camera today. Today I'm going to be shooting an image that I created a prop for last year. So here is the glass that I made. My idea is to, to shoot through it. So I'd like to take the back out, secure this glass in somehow, and then I'm gonna dangle it from my backdrop stands and shoot with it. But I'd like to bring you on this journey with me. Before I pack this away, I'm just gonna show you what I'm working on. So this is an image that I took a few years ago. I think it was on the seven day project for the seven deadly sins, but I'm slowly, slowly, but surely getting used to oil paints and I've been loving the process. So yeah, that is what I've been working on at the minute. So I'm just gonna clear this up so that you can see the steam coming off of it. What I was gonna say is I can't wait for spring, but I am living in the present. So let's enjoy what I'm doing now. Even if it is a bit cold, I might put the heater back on. So let's do that. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, apart from I need to have a look at the back. I might have to glue it. I'm gonna glue gun it. Put a layer of glue on that side. Let's do this. So it's now glued in and I'm going to shoot through it. Excited. I've just assessed this situation. I need the backdrop, but I want it to be half the size of what it is. And I was gonna use this for the yellow project. Uh, I was gonna paint on the other side, so I had a green and a yellow. But I think I've decided that I'm probably not gonna use a massive green backdrop anymore after this, unless it's for like smaller shoots or small, probably more portraits. So I'm gonna chop it in half and I've got a saw. Here's my saw. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do it. Um, I've not thought about this before. I've just thought about it now, so. Hopefully I don't regret it, but you know, this is what it's about, isn't it? Just playing. It's fine at the top, it's just at the bottom, it's all like ragged and jaggedy. So I'm gonna just cut it in the middle. 
oh, I don't know if I'm going to regret this. But I need it today, so just do it. You can always paint another backdrop green if you really want to. This is good size for portraits, so how big is that? It's probably about a metre, isn't it? I don't need to do like a big one and a small one. There's no point in doing the same size. And I am going to wreck the edges of this, so let's just start, yeah, there. There we go, did it. I'm going to cut off the bottom because it was gross. got a short backdrop okay so let's put it on the backdrop stand I need to move this backdrop over to the window because I'm using these doors today as natural light. I'm not using any flash. It's all going to be natural light today. So I need to move that over here and then I need to figure out how I'm going to attach this prop <laughs> to the stands or something else. I don't know. We need to have a look. Hey Google, lights off. I've turned the lights off and I want to use this really nice bright light here. I apologise for the quality of this. So I've just popped you up there and that's where you're staying for the time being. <laughs> but as you can see, the light is just gorgeous hitting me and I just love the way that it shadows across here as well. So when I get this up, hopefully, it's going to look really nice. I'm ready to go. The light here is lovely and I'm loving it. But it's a little bit harsh on my face. So I'm just gonna add a bit of tracing paper. If I open that up a bit and just put it up at the window just so it takes off that harshness. Wish me luck, here I go. Now it is time to go and edit the pickies. Let's go. 